all of the figure questions for this passage seem really, really difficult. But remember, trust the process. We know that figure questions are generally easier. So we can do that here. We're going to need to go back to the passage. Again, unusual, annoying, but not that big of a deal. The key, though, is the passage should be secondary. Our priority should be to go to the graph. So narrow your focus. Before you start searching here in all these lines, look at those answer choices, right? Pause for a second. Don't just be a robot who goes and like says, okay, this is the question to go find the answer. No, look at the answers and work backwards to better understand the question. Based on the table, is the percentage of adenine in each organism's DNA the same or does it vary? And which statement made by the authors is most consistent with the data? Well, look, we've got a clear break. A and B say it's the same. C and D says it varies. So just, just look. Does the percentage of adenine in each organism's DNA, is it the same or does it vary? Here's adenine. Here's all the organisms. Look at those numbers. Are they the same or do they vary? Well, 26.8 and 33.2 are different numbers. Therefore, it varies. So we can get rid of two choices without even doing anything other than recognizing that two numbers are different. That's it. So that's good now because we need to support that with the graph, so uh, with, the, with the passage. So we have to read less of the passage because we know that A and B don't even matter. So let's look at these lines, 36 to 38. 36 to 38 is here. So that's choice C. Adenine, for example, can occur on either chain, but when it does, its partner on the other chain must always be thymine. Well, I'm looking for something that talks about variation. The word must sounds like things don't vary, so I don't really understand what I read, but it doesn't seem to say anything about anything varying. Let's, let's see if I need to understand it better. Let's go to 41 to 45, see if that's going to help us out more. That's here. It follows that in a long molecule, many different permutations. So even if you don't know the word permutation, you know the word different. Different means to vary. Uh, they're possible, and it therefore seems like uh, likely that the precise sequence of bases uh, is the code which carries the genetical information. So again, we did need to go to the passage, but it was still very easy. We do not need to stress over these questions. They're supposed to be easy. D is the answer because the word vary is in the choice and the word different is in the line reference. Same thing. Keep it simple, narrow your focus to simple ideas, simple words, and you'll be surprised how often you find matches in all sorts of places.